<laughs> We're back. We have a snack haul. Anything in here we haven't done yet? No, that's that's not. That's Easter stuff. Do you want to do the cheese curls first, or do you want to do the Twizzlers first, or do you want to like alternate in between? Uh, I guess we'll start with the chips. Okay. Which one should we do first? They all sound good. I say the cheeseburger. Uh, okay. Down. So first we have Hairs Game Day Flavors Cheeseburger Cheese Curls. I've never seen these before. Hairs is a brand that's all over our area, and I don't don't know why we've never seen these yeah, until really... we went to Ollie's. Yep. They just look like regular cheese curls. <sighs> Stop being a weirdo and just try one. Well, it definitely smells like a fucking cheeseburger. Definitely has some smell to it. I don't know what. <laughs> it smells like something. I'm trying to decide what it is I'm actually tasting. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of seasoned salt. Yeah, a little bit. Which, when I make hamburgers, I put seasoned salt on them. Gives them a little flavor. Yeah. Cheese blend. Seasoning. Onion, onion powder, brown sugar, white, that's all white vinegar powder, spices. So that tell, sounds to me like seasoned salt. Yeah. They're not bad. A little saltier than a standard cheese puff. Yeah. They look like just a regular one. Yeah. But is it cheeseburger? Yeah, who knows. So what are we doing next? Uh, I guess the grilled cheese. And okay, that. these are grilled cheese and tomato soup flavored cheese curls. I don't know. They look like just a regular cheese curl. <laughs> That's the thing about these. It definitely has that tomato soup smell. More or less than the uh, grilled cheese. I can't smell anything. Old people issues. I'm not entirely sure I taste anything other than cheese curl. Yeah. I guess I taste a little bit of the, the soup. Maybe a little bit. It's real subtle. Yeah. Did you want another one? Yeah, I guess. I didn't taste any grilled cheese at all. Unless it's like mixed. Well, see, I think it's more grilled cheese than, than tomato soup. Yeah. It's more cheese curl than anything. I mean... Yeah. I suppose you want to do the, this one next? Yeah. This is bacon and cheddar flavored cheese curl.
and they look just like the others. They don't look any different. It, it's just a regular cheese curl. I can taste the bacon. Oh, those these don't always smell like much of anything. The other two, they have some scent. Well, maybe if you, you shove up your nose or something, you might smell I don't know. I can taste fake bacon. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that I tasted a cheese puff. Like an actual cheese puff, cheese puff. Not a... A little bit of bacon, maybe. Not a whole lot, though. Cheese blend. Seasoning. I do not see the word bacon anywhere in the ingredients. Unless natural flavor. Here's bacon cheddar flavored cheese curls deliver the unmistakable flavor of smokehouse bacon combined with the creamy sharp tang of fresh cheddar for a taste you can't refuse and a crunch you can't resist. Made from the choicest ingredients available. But apparently not bacon. I still can't smell anything. I don't know why I even try. Eh. I definitely taste some bacon there. Yeah. I'd say this is the closest to actually being what it claims the flavor is. Yeah. <laughs> so there was three kinds of cheese curls, and now we got two kinds of Twizzlers. Which I'd never seen these before either. I didn't know they made filled Twizzlers. So this one is Twizzlers Filled Twist Minis Orange Cream Pop. I think I might have smelled a little hint of orange. Does it smell very orange? Yep. Oh, I got the, the yeah. tiniest little hint of it. <sighs> Why are you so weird? <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see very well, but they do have some kind of filling through the middle. <laughs> That's the good shit. Makes you want to smack a gremlin in the testicles, you know? That's how good this is. <laughs> Makes you want to go into... <laughs> <laughs> an interdimensional portal where all the gremlins are. And then smack them in their balls. Okay, so these are Twizzlers Filled Twists Key Lime Pot. I like how fresh these are. Yeah. They're real soft and chewy. That's nice, because a lot of times when you get them, they've gotten a little... Stale and they're a little harder to chew. Yeah. Maybe you can see it better with this one. There's a, some kind of filling type stuff in there. Definitely a lot longer. Cause I don't think it's well, a, that's because uh, these are minis and these are regular. 
Yeah, it's definitely got that smell of a uh, key lime pie. Yeah, although it's not as strong as the other one. Yeah, it definitely tastes like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. And again, it's fresh and it's soft. It's got a good chew to it. Yeah. I'm not sure what the filling is supposed to be. Must dissect it. Mm. Just gooey. I don't know. Yeah. That's about the size of one of the minis. Huh. Not a little bigger. There we go. I like the Twizzlers. I think they're both flavors are good. Yeah. I wonder if they make other flavors of filled ones. Yeah, who knows? Is this, I mean, this is the first. I might have even seen them. I never heard of them. I didn't know they existed. I'm just used to the standard red Twizzler. Yeah. <laughs> which, which thing did you like best? Well, okay, which Twizzler did you like best? The orange cream or the key lime pie? I don't know. Uh, I guess probably the orange. Although they're both really good. I think I'm leaning toward the orange as well. But yeah, they're both really good. Okay. There's 11 ounces in the key lime and only eight ounces in the orange. That explains why this is a dollar nineteen and this is a dollar ninety nine. Okay, now the three flavors the cheeseburger, the grilled cheese and tomato soup, or the bacon cheddar. Which one? No, uh, either the cheeseburger or bacon. One of those two. I think probably out of those. Bacon. I figured you'd say bacon. Okay. Fine. Because I mean, the grilled cheese. I didn't really have much cheese in that one. I'm going to have a bacon cheeseburger. Eh. It kind of works together, yeah. but it's very, very salty. Yeah. I know. I thought all three were good. I think um, the bacon comes out a little more than the cheeseburger does. And the tomato soup is very subtle. It's there, but it's subtle. So I was afraid I wasn't going to like those. I thought tomato soup probably going to be a little bit like ketchup. Yeah. And how I know how you like those ketchup chips so much. Yeah. Not for me. <laughs> I don't like the ketchup chips. But this is good. I love a cheese curl. What can I say? So I would say... This snack haul was very successful. I liked everything. 
I'm getting tired of getting things to try and be like, meh. <laughs> I don't taste what it says it is. Which I think is pretty much what I said for every item on the last snack haul. And I know one of the comments was, I've never seen that cereal before, but I'm glad to know it's not worth looking for. <laughs> <laughs> or something to that effect. Well, it, it, I was very disappointed in that Captain Crunch cereal. If you're going to call it chocolate caramel, then put some caramel in there. Anyway. <sighs> Anything else? <coughs> Sounds about right. I don't know. <laughs> He's a piggy with cat ears. Cat pig. Cat pig. Okay. Um... I can't think of anything else to talk about at the moment. And it's almost 1 a.m. I'm getting tired. Yeah. We've been running all day. We got to do fun things. We did laundry. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> then we went to the grocery. So exciting. Yeah. And then we were like, well, we got everything home and we got everything unloaded and put away. Let's go get some dinner and, and go to Ollie's. Yeah. And then we thought, let's go to Ollie's and then get dinner because yeah, they close. Ollie's closed at 9 and Cracker Barrel closes at 11. Yeah. So we thought, yeah, let, let's do it that way that so that we have time to look around and yeah. spend a lot of money that we didn't have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually... We were fine. But, uh, yeah, you owe me work, boy. Girl. He, she, it, they. What are you? I don't fucking know anymore. <laughs> All I know is I'm a gender fluid, non binary, neko princess femboy who does nothing but meow at people and, 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 and masturbate and play video games, and sometimes, if you are lucky, when all the stars align and your cat shits inside of your toilet instead of on the kitchen table. Woo! You can teach cats to use the toilet. Yeah. Some have done it. Why do you always have to do this weird stuff on my channel? <laughs> Yeah, it's how it works. You have your own channel for weirdness. You don't have to be weird on my channel. Well, you know what they say. That's how you masturbate in the kitchen, okay? <laughs> While you're putting the hot dog in the microwave, you're, you're, you're putting some mayonnaise all over it. <laughs> Well, you just made this one not safe for work. <laughs> Nothing is safe for work anymore. Work is not safe for work. You're so weird. And now all the books are flying. Cause well, next weekend, the plan is we're going to go to a move, or two movies. Double feature. Yeah. We're going to go see Mario, and we're going to see Renfield! Now, I'm really excited about Renfield. And on our way back from Parkersburg, we were listening to a radio station that's based in Parkersburg. 106.1? Yeah, I think is what it was. And they have Alice Cooper. He does a show. And they run it on that channel. And he was talking about Renfield and how he's excited for it next weekend. So I'm like, woohoo! I got something in common with Alice Cooper. <laughs> I kind of want to see how Nicholas Cage does it. Oh, it's gonna be interesting it's, for sure. Yeah. I'm still geek out over it, over all the various trailers and things. I hope it's as good as the trailers make it look. Yeah. 
Yeah. I hope it's not a case of they put all the good stuff in the trailer. And everything sucks. And then when we get there, it's just going to be like, meh. Yeah. Because that happens a lot. Yeah. That's how they get you hooked and you yeah, watch the movie. Yeah, they get you excited for a movie and you get there and it's meh. <laughs> And the but one scene... We might have a review next week to let you know what we thought of the movies. Yeah. And I think the know, plan is we're probably going to hit Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner that night. And yeah. Because we haven't been there in quite some time. Over a year. Yeah. It's been a long time since we've done that. It's been a long time since Gopolis, really. Yeah. We normally go to Athens instead. Yeah. And geez, we haven't seen a movie in a theater since, I think, Jungle Cruise. God damn. And that was a long ass time ago. That was ago. a long time ago. Yeah. Well, pre COVID. Yeah. Well, we've seen some, you know, new release movies. Yeah. But it was through streaming. Yeah, that's the thing. Like Halloween Ends. Yeah. Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends, we did that way. Yeah. Uh, we did that Godzilla one. Yeah. And we did that... Um, Was it Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat one. Yeah, the newer one. Which, I mean, I wonder how long it's going to be until movie theaters are dead. I mean, they're already dying because the whole streaming thing. Well, they're so thing. expensive. That and, you know, with I mean, streaming... We know it's going to cost us... What, 30 bucks just to go to see the movies and get snacks? Yeah. And then we'll stop and get dinner, which will probably be another 40 bucks on top of it. We're looking at a $100 night. Yeah. Between movies, snacks, and, and dinner. Yeah. And gas to drive back and forth. And if we do anything else. Yeah. We're looking at at least $100. Yeah. I don't know how young couples can do it. You know, how, how do they date? Yeah. You go. You can't afford to go to a movie. Exactly. That's why Netflix and chill became a thing. Yeah. More yeah. like either. I don't know how. Yeah. How people could afford it. Yeah. But oh, was... uh, what was the one? Violent Night was good. Nah. And that was what I watched streaming. Yeah. And that's the thing. Between it being really expensive and the fact that everything you want to watch is already streamed anyway, so you don't have to leave home. You know, it, it's well, a... Well, a lot of them are now only in theaters <laughs> for the first couple weeks, and then they start streaming. <laughs> I'd kind of like... I want to go see Guardians of the Galaxy 3 Yeah. in the theater. Yeah, there's only some things I want to see in theaters. It's like... Yeah. yeah, I know that's coming in May, but I'm not sure which weekend. Yeah. Is it the same weekend as the book sale and everything else? If so, we're fucked. <laughs> we're going to be spending I'm going to be exhausted. That, you're going to be spending <laughs> I'm going to go to work just to get a break. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, but you'd be wasting a lot of money. Because you got the yard sale, depending on what's there. Got the book sale, depending on what's there. You got the movie. Book sale, I give them a $20 donation, and then I walk out with boxes full of books. Yeah. Because they were trying to get rid of that. Because they're trying to get rid of them. If they don't yeah. get rid of them, they're probably going to pitch them. Which yeah. makes me very sad. Even for a library. Like, seriously. <laughs> Just take them to some other library or something. Well, they are they could send them to Better World Books. Yeah, that too. Which, then they get a little bit of kickback from it. Yeah. Anything that's worth selling, and the rest of it, they donate to other places. I mean, yeah, the books are going somewhere. Yeah, not just sitting up at some fucking landfill. Exactly. I don't want them to go to a landfill. And that's the same thing with me and video games. Whenever, because I've seen it multiple times, not just with the Speedy Diver with GameStop, but Is he also doing anything anymore. I'm not sure. I haven't seen anything from him in a forever. Yeah, I think he might have stopped. Maybe. I think his dumpster driving isn't as big as it used to be. Yeah, it kind of, it was real big for a while, and then and, people yeah. started cracking down on it, and now yeah, you don't hear about it hardly at all. That and games, it was kind of fun. Yeah, that and GameStop's <laughs> dying and everything and yeah. all that, so when, you, when your whole big thing is GameStop dumpster diving and that shit's going away, 
really, what's the point in doing that as a you content? You can't do it as a channel anymore, because... Yeah. I mean, you could probably milk it for the last few days in your area. Oh, this GameStop shutting down. Here's what I found for the last week. We got week. real lucky at Dollar Tree a couple different times. First night we did the it. The first time we did it, we filled <laughs> up the car. Yeah. I mean, we couldn't have put, put anything else in the car. It was yeah. so full. And we only took about a third of what was there. Yeah. And it was so much food. Yeah. Like bags of chips and candy and yep. boxes of donuts that were... Still in... Like within yeah. a week of the, the Best Buy date. Yeah. Well, if it says Best Buy, that doesn't mean it's expired. Exactly. That just means that, you know, it's like a freshness date. <clears throat> it's at its freshest to that point. After that, <coughs> quality may go down. Yeah. But, I mean, we brought in, oh, jeez, cases of stuff. There was yeah. so much of it. Yep. This, is, this is where we really wish we would have had the pickup truck. Yep. We, <laughs> we could have pretty much taken it all. Yeah. But why didn't they donate any exactly. of it? Exactly. Because so there was stuff that was still in date, and they could have donated it to the food pantry. Exactly. They're writing it off anyway. Yeah. Donate it. Yeah. That just aggravates me. I, it makes me so mad to see that kind of waste. Exactly. So we brought I mean, that stuff home, and we did get a couple bags of chips that were just garbage. They were nasty. Even the dog didn't want it. Yeah, even our dog wouldn't eat them. They were so nasty. <laughs> you know it's bad. So, any bags of that we had, we took back and put in the dumpster. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see why those are in here. I can see why those are in there. They're not good. <laughs> but, I mean, we had yeah. pork rinds that we weren't real crazy about, but we stuck those in yeah. um, one of the blessing boxes. And... About five minutes, and then we went, because they used to have a blessing box next to the library, and we put them in there, and we went inside, and about five minutes later, this kid came in, carried all the bags of the pork rinds, <laughs> and asked if they could get a bag to put them in. <laughs> I, was, I was just cracking up. I'm like, we just put those out there. <laughs> yeah. And this little kid, he was just so excited to have all these bags of pork rinds. Yeah. But, I mean, I like to rescue th things yeah. and give them to people who can use them. Yep. If we can't use it ourselves, nine times out we of ten, find we'll... some place to. It, if even if it's just putting it in the blessing box, yeah. that way we know somebody is going to get it and put it to use. Yep. Um. We found what? A case of laundry detergent, the liquid laundry detergent. Yep. That they threw the whole case away because one of them had a little bit of a leak. Yeah. It and, was perfectly good. And still, there wasn't anything wrong with that detergent. Same with the jars. We other had. than there was a little bit leaked and got on one of the other bottles, so they just threw the whole case away. They did that with um, uh, the hand soap refill things. Yeah. Whole <clears throat> case of it. They threw it out because one of them leaked. Yeah. We got a whole case of these really nice... Like square jars that have the yeah. hinged lid, and there's a whole case thrown away because one of them had a crack. Yeah. And there was some another kind of jar that we got. One of them was broken, so they threw the whole case away. Rather than put the good ones on the shelf and sell them, let's just pitch it all. <laughs> we had a couple really good nights at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. And then they started putting, they put out a camera and they put up signs saying, you know, no dumpster diving. <laughs> but we had, had a couple times, we did really well. Yeah. We went in there one night, they hadn't closed yet, and we're like, is it okay if we look in your dumpster? <laughs> and they're like, what, do you need like a box or something? I'm like, well, yeah. You could say that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one night we found like a case of M and M's. Yeah. That they threw out. Don't know why they were in date. Yeah. It was a brand new unopened case, and they threw it in the dumpster. Yeah, bad in their M and M's. They pretty much keep going on forever. It's chocolate. It's yeah. not gonna go bad on you. Exactly. Unless you do something stupid to it. Yeah. 
There wasn't anything wrong with that case of stuff. We and they had the uh, nut rolls. Oh, I love the nut rolls. I mm. found a bunch of those. And Probably about a case worth. Yeah, there was and they a, just chucked them, and I'm like, yeah. but there's nothing wrong with them. Yeah, and there's a bunch of donuts and Swiss rolls and things like that. Yeah, that, that was that first night, is the donuts yeah, like, and Swiss rolls yeah. and chips and, oh, geez, so much stuff. Well, there is so many. We couldn't even go through all the donuts. I they, A lot of them were starting to get bad. We put them in the freezer. Yeah. To keep them from going bad. Yeah. Because we knew we weren't going to go through all those boxes of donuts right away. Yeah. Like every so often, we grab a box out of the freezer and let them thaw out, and yeah, at least they got used, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing. But dumpster with... diving was so much fun. Yeah, you never know what the fuck. Because you didn't know find. if you were going to find anything or not, and when you did, it was like treasure. Yeah, it's a treasure hunt. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. And I wonder how many of these people they do that. You know, they go and they're like, "Yeah, you know what." We're not going to use them, so we're going to let dumpster divers have them. So I'm sure there are some that's like, yeah, well, you know, dumpster divers are welcome to take this because we're throwing it out anyway, and we don't really want these. <laughs> but even so, just donate them anyway. I mean, it's the same thing, like... Well, I, we find a bun- found a bunch of bottles of pop in that one. Yeah. And none of us drank it, drank pop, so we just cleaned them up and put them in the blessing box. Yeah. And the thing and, is... I mean, people took them, so hopefully they yeah. got used. I mean, multiple places, I mean, GameStop especially, depending on which ones you go to, they actually have brain cells. Other ones don't. I found this quite weird. The, uh, the one in Athens that shut down, sadly, barely anything really worth anything in the dumpster. But the one in Galapagos that isn't really that good, holy fuck. Like, two or three copies of Skyrim. Yeah, you did find some stuff in that one a couple times. A whole bunch of posters I still have in my room, one of which being Doom Eternal, of the original release date before they moved it to the same day as Animal Crossing. So I have something that might be worth something because of that alone. And then a controller, I think, for the Xbox One. Uh, you found a bunch of different things. Yeah, and I'm like, damn, you're just gonna let all these go to waste? Come on, give them to me. <laughs> well, the thing is, with the posters and stuff, if you would have asked them in the store, they probably would have let you have them anyway. Yeah. We're not using them? Yeah, you can have it. Yeah. Now, there's supposed to be a box behind the counter with, like, promotional items and things yeah, that if for... you ask, they're supposed to let you get something out of it we tried that once and they're like oh no we don't have anything right now yeah sometimes we do we don't have anything right now <laughs> yeah and that's what i wanted to do um an advent calendar for you yeah where i just found random things i thought you would like and put them in little boxes and then every day you'd open a box yeah that didn't work out because <clears throat> whenever i asked they were like no, we don't have anything yeah. Because you wouldn't have cared what game it came from. Yeah, anything video game related. Even if it was some, like, a download code for some DLC or expansion for a game, I wouldn't have cared. I would have used it. <laughs> so that if I ever did get the game, you know, I'd be like, hey, I have free DLC for that game. But, yeah. Another thing I hated, though. So this was probably, uh, this was back when I was still in school, 2016 I think, 15, whatever. So I was walking home from school, and I found an Xbox. Oh yeah, at the neighbor's house? Yeah. And I don't think it was a Psycho Neighbors, I think it was the other ones that are one house down from us. Oh, the nicer neighbors? Yeah. And I'm like, damn! The ones where the guy used to come over and mow the lawn for Papa? Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> so he had a little riding mower, he'd zip, 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 and he'd have the front lawn done in, like, five minutes or less. Yeah. It's not a big yard. Yeah. And I'm like, damn. And the only problem with it was the disc tray was fucked. 
But I'm sure you can fix it if you really needed to. And well, I couldn't figure out how. I took the thing apart and yeah. I cleaned it out. But I couldn't figure out how to get the tray to work again. Yeah, maybe to get a new one. Put it back together. Yeah. Yeah, maybe just get a new one, replace it or something. Something about the actual tray itself might be jammed or the whatever. The motor might have been burned out or something. I don't know. Yeah. Should be really easy to fix, though, one of these times. But it did come with, like, four games downloaded. And they were all pretty good ones. Grand Theft Auto Five, Halo 4, Minecraft. I'm like, damn, I'll play those. <laughs> and then, like, a year or two later... Uh, basically a week before, or actually no, maybe a couple of days before the yard sale, I found an Xbox that was fully functional. I mean, the disc tray worked. It had Wi-Fi. You have had some good luck with your diving. Yeah. And I found a whole bunch of games for it. I'm like, damn! <laughs> it's mine now. That was a case of the little old ladies not knowing what they had. Yeah. <clears throat> So now I walked home with a free game console and a bunch of games for it that I still use. Because they threw it away? Yeah. I'm like, I would have bought it, but nah. Why buy it when I can get it for free in the dumpster? Well, it's like when they did that community-wide yard sale there in Syracuse that yeah. one time. And that guy had that stack of games. Oh, yeah. And you were like, tell you what, if you... I'll you buy know, them I'll all. I'll buy them all if, for this much. Yeah. And you're like, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, end up getting a whole bunch of games for it. Yeah, quite a stack of games. Almost enough to fill the entire back of our Jeep. <laughs> it was just fucking ridiculous how many games I managed to find out of that. Well, I mean, it was nice that they were willing to yeah. take the deal, you know? And I think a lot of people are, because they just want to get rid of it. You know, well, they're... that, and there was no guarantee that somebody else was going to come around wanting that stuff. Yeah. It and was. it was a lot of sports games, which were all yeah. outdated. Yeah. I'm probably one of the only few people that actually want all these sports games. Because, I mean, even though they're all outdated and they're all the same shit every single year, they're still video games. They're still games that I don't have in my collection yet. And so when I get them, I'm like, yeah, I'll buy them. And whenever I go to GameStop, I always get them for 99 cents. Because they're cheap. I'm like, yeah. I'm not out much. This game doesn't really, isn't really good. I'm not gonna play it much anyway. Just put it on my shelf or in my collection for however long until I decide to do a video on it. Eh. But it kind of makes you wonder, like, how many of these people they just get rid of it instead of think. You know, they could think with their fucking brains and be like, you know what? Yeah, this console may not work anymore, but we could still sell it on eBay for parts or we could give it away to someone. Or Speaking of parts, I am looking for <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> a driver's side window for a 2003 Jeep Wrangler. It's a, It just like pulls up out of the door. And it's like the frame with the vinyl window, zipper window thing. My window currently has a hole in the middle of it from where I had to break into my Jeep the other night because I locked my keys in it. Meh. And I was working it. And when I bent the window down so I could reach in to flip the lock, it cracked. And then the little piece was kind of flopping around and I went to push it back to kind of keep it aligned with the rest of the window and it just snapped right off. So I have a <laughs> a hole in my window. The bottom part of the window was already cracked. It did that about, what, five years after mom got it? And it's just bad design. I mean, the vinyl yeah. that they use in the windows, is it's bad. But I, I, I'm looking for a driver's side window that's not broken and cracked they don't make the part anymore. <laughs> so I already went to the dealer dealership to say, okay, this is what I need. And then, well, it's a 20 year old Jeep. So, you know, they only have to make the parts for 10 years. And since your car is 20 years old, they don't, they are not making that part anymore. <sighs> so I'm, I'm looking for one. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I know it's a, the repair itself is simple. You just lift the thing out and then pop the new one in. I just need one to put in. So I think this summer, because my heating heater and air conditioner thing is messed up too, and they don't make the part to fix it e anymore either. Between the two, just the parts, it's going to cost me almost eight hundred dollars if they would have still been made and been available. Now I got to hunt them down aftermarket, which sucks. Yeah. But um, yeah, the heater in the car. You can't adjust the fan speed anymore. It's on full force all the time because it, it. You can turn the knob all you want. It's not doing anything. And then the function knob doesn't do anything anymore. It is stuck on defrost and feet. So right now the only knob that works more or less is the temperature control. And I, I really hope that it doesn't break and be stuck on heat so that in the summer I'll have like heat blasting me <laughs> full blast in like 90 degree weather that will suck yeah but i think what i can do <clears throat> is you know on hot days just pop that window out and stick it in the back seat or whatever and then when we get where we're going pop it back in and i've got i bought a, some super cheap towels the other day i went to a family dollar thinking let's hope they have some inexpensive towels so I can get a couple that I can drape over that window in case it rains. They had some on clearance out front. And I was like, that's exactly what I was looking for. They're like two bucks a piece. So I picked up three of them so I could rotate them in and out. If one gets wet or gross while it's in the basket waiting to be washed, I can put a different one up. So, yeah, that's cool. And uh, yeah, that's how I'm dealing with it at the moment. But um, if anybody has a lead on where to find that kind of thing, I'd really like to know because I don't know where to get a new window to put in. It's just so stupid. They're zippered vinyl windows. <laughs> But then, you know, the, the Jeep is designed where you're supposed to be able to take the top off and then you could pop those windows out pretty quick and easy and, you know, run around like that. But yeah. I'm not going to do that. But I can pop that window out if I need to. It's getting where it's really hard to see because the only really clear spot is that broken spot. <laughs> because that vinyl is so it's all scratched up and it's foggy and it, it's just not nice and it's hard to see through and it's getting worse the older the car gets the worse that gets yeah so i think at this point i'll be safer taking that window out yeah it's just really kind of you know, pain in the rear end. Anyway, it is now a quarter after one, and we've been yakking for, uh, I think that says 43 minutes, 44 minutes. God damn. Yeah, I think it just switched to 44. So it's hard to see because it's down just enough that it's cutting the numbers off, so it's hard to read. Yeah. So since we've been yakking for so long, and we're not really saying anything of import, um, I guess we could say, remember to do all the YouTube things, comment, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell icon to be notified of future uploads in case the YouTube gods should deem it worthy. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next one. I don't even know what the next one's going to be. I have no idea. At this idea. point. Possibly... Maybe we'll do some sort of review on the movie we go see next week. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> other than that, yeah. I guess we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.